Hi guys, how are you? This is Joe Faikade and in today's newsletter this will be the first video of a mini series of three videos where I will teach you how you can make very nice looking templates totally for free and you don't have to spend money with Optiva or with uh, Listing Factory or PageMate or PageMage, I don't remember the name. You can just do it all on your own and it's very easy. And to do this, to accomplish this, we need a piece of software that is called GIMP. GIMP, G-I-M-P, is a free software that we will use to edit and create our images. So if you don't have GIMP already, you please go and download it. It's under the new agreement, it's totally free, and they make it for Windows and Mac. That's exactly what we need. Before we move forward, please forgive the background. I am at the par with my kids. So, I assume you have paused this video and downloaded GIMP. So we are ready to start. The first thing you do is to go here where it says File, New, and you put the width of 1200 and 300. That's, that's pretty much good. Or you can, yeah, you can leave that. And uh, when now it's red, let me fill it with white. Okay, then you go on the rectangle selection tool, and this one you must make it precise. You can do it. Usually, a top banner is uh, in between 800 and 900, so I'm gonna put 850, and it is uh, usually 150 or less high. Then you have a, sec a selection of rounded corners if you want to round the corners, which I want to. Okay, and here is our rectangle. Next thing we want to do is to save this selection because we will need it later. So you go and select and save to channel. And here is our selection. Now we will create a new layer. So if you don't have the window of layers, you can do Control L and it will pop up. You do new. You can leave transparency. OK. And we fill it with the color black with the bucket. Now we're going to create a new layer again, same thing, and this I'm going to do feather, and then put 100. What this does, it will basically blur the edges, and you see the effect. And I'm going to fill this with the red. You can choose another color if you prefer, and, look if, and now you see, I'm sorry, did it black instead, okay. And this is the effect. Now you see around the edges, the red went outside the edges. And uh, to eliminate that, we go back to our saved selection. We press this little red button and we make it active. We select the right layer. Now if I cancel, we delete, it will cancel everything that is inside. So we need to invert the selection. So everything that is outside the rectangle will be selected. And to do that, I do Control and the letter I. Now I can cancel with Delete. And all the red went away. Now what we are going to do, you have to select the layer 1, select the selection, layer 1. We take the ellipse selection tool, and you hold Control and Shift, and you drag an ellipse like this, okay, like about half size, you release, and you see we selected this area, basically where the two areas were overlapping, that's only the part we selected. Now I'm gonna sh shrink it a little bit, and you can do four or five pixels, there is not really a rule that's up to you. Now we have this area, and now I want to give a glassy effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the gradient. I'm going to put white. And the gradient must be from white to transparent. So I'm going right here, about. Left click, hold it, hold it, down here. And that's the effect. Basically, where you hold it 
at the beginning the starting point will be white and the, the last point where you release the left button it will be transparent and now we have this pretty good looking glassy effect the last thing we need to do is to add some text we go right here and we write uh, something like welcome to my auction and you can write whatever you want of course and we want to make this a little bit bigger you go. Ah, so let me select it first okay we make this a little bit bigger as big as you want okay Uh, just write as okay and now we can move it around but before doing that I want to change the color and I'm gonna make it nice and yellow even a little bit bigger wouldn't hurt okay oh, can do that yet to move this one first of all you can do control shift and 8 and get rid of that selection then you go here on the layer and you do edit and now you can move it with the move tool you see and you put it about in the center like this and that's it okay now that we have created this pretty good looking banner i encourage you to to learn more and maybe you can add some graphic here or here this it's just a tutorial to show you what you can do with GIMP and uh, GIMP is very good because online you'll find plenty of tutorials and things you can do and ideas but with this you don't have to spend money I mean if you use it or you don't use it you don't spend money it's not like a paid service and even if you buy the template for from eBay, they charge you 30 cents for each template. It adds up pretty quickly. So I think it's good to learn. Plus, these skills will help you for other things beside eBay. Something that is I like to know is always good to know. The last thing we need to do is to crop this image because we don't care about this part, you know, we just need the banner. And we go here, crop tools. And we try to do as precise as possible if you need to zoom in you can do shift and plus well now i can because i've already selected it okay now I've... see okay we can move this one and now we can crop it a little bit more precisely right there down to here okay enter here is our image last thing to do we have to export this image i put it on the desktop to find it and i call it banner export you export as jpg okay if it doesn't show automatically now i can close this here it is and here it is a very nice looking banner I think that's good and uh, of course now that you know how to do it you can change the colors you can change the borders you know to do a lot of things now so please uh, practice try to do a banner once you start playing with it you see it's pretty easy again to add the graphics or to write something else here so you have plenty of things to do after we have created this banner the last thing to do would be to upload this image on photo bucket I have photo back it is free if you have a different service that's fine it doesn't make any difference because eventually what we need is the URL for this image I guess that's it for today next video we will see how to create the second part of the template and make it look a little bit nice nicer because this I think is already nice and fancier I hope guys uh, you enjoyed this if you did please drop me a comment and uh, i'll see you in a week with the second part thank you and take care